guys welcome back to my channel my name is Enola and i do all things skincare beauty and lifestyle if today's your first time seeing this beautiful face this pretty face please make sure you subscribe join the family here and if today's not your first time returning subscriber notifications gang you are the real mvp thank you for coming back to watch another video today we have such a lovely weather and i'm like okay i need to make this video today because you guys are like Enola, we need more videos from you if you're just joining us here as a new subscriber or you're just watching one of my videos i assure you i share skin friendly tips tricks and everything you need to know about skincare beauty and lifestyle and how you can make purchasing decisions that is easy for you when it comes to your skincare products or your beauty products so yes i'm done rambling let's jump into today's video today i'm going to be talking about something that is very popular because it's popular everybody has used all of these body lotions at one point or the other before and i don't know whether your experience was favorable or bad but i'm here to review body lighting body lotions for you guys today and that's because no matter how hard we try people will always have different skin concerns and different needs that requires some of these products the very first body lotion that i would like to talk about today is the carol white lightning lotion with a picture here the carol white lightning lotion now this is something that i also used in the past and first i want to quickly mention the company that produces this product is called dream cosmetics and they are from france they are a french company they are known to produce a lot of lightning skin body care products and ranges they have soap they have medicated soap they have scrub they have they have serum they have everything they even have face creams they have face creams so they are known to produce a lot of skin lightening products so that's their trademark however this is the first thing that always puts me off when i try to buy a product if i go to your website as a company and i don't see sufficient information it's already a red flag so that's the first red flag when it comes to the carol white skin lightning body lotion the second red flag is this there are a lot of fakes in the market i know on the article and on the blogs i saw that this one is original while this one is fake it's so hard to tell so you knowing already that this particular product that is working for you is so bastardized and there are a lot of fakes out there can put you off you never just know which one you are going to get that is going to be fake and that will damage your skin now let's talk about the active ingredients that are in carol white skin lightning body lotion and on the directory i will put it up here for you guys to see it says that it has um carrot oil that was the only thing i saw on the website as the key ingredient in carol white skin lightning lotion and then the company also says that you should be getting benefits like hydration moisturizing protecting your skin's epidermal layer and of course skin lighting that's about everything that is on their website i tried to dig 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 i didn't find sufficient information to satisfy my curiosity and to also help me to decide should i buy this body lotion and is it worth my coins so keep piling up those are the red flags that have been piling and stacking up for you now let's talk about the formula on it now right off the bat this is a quiz for you guys if you are trying to get a body lotion and you can see things like aloe and all these skin hydrating moisturizing ingredients it's another red flag and that's because when you're using a topical product or a skincare product that has hydroponion in two percent you need to be able to balance it with enough products and ingredients that would also hydrate and moisturize your skin why because hydroquinone is going to really really lighten your skin and it tends to dry out the skin it tends to dry out the skin so it's not a function of okay is this product going to lighten the skin no guarantee your skin is going to get fairer you're going to get brighter but is this safe for a long period of time knowing fully well that it does not contain moisturizing and hydrating products that would do your skin a lot of good in the long run so that's another red flag i know <laughs> that if you're using a product that contains hydroquinone and it's not necessarily infused with moisturizing and hydrating skincare products it's most likely going to also give your skin adverse allergic reactions like eczema green veins sunburn and all the lanyards so these are some of the things that you need to consider but overall let's just give carowite and overall and a summary review and stuff so carowite is actually good but when it comes to the formulation on its own when you apply it all over your skin because it lacks enough it does not really contain a lot of moisturizing skincare products it tends to stay on the surface of your skin hence making you sweat out a lot i've used it in the past 
I got fairer, even though my complexion was not even like the company said it would, but I got fairer, I got what I wanted to see. However, it just stays on the skin and it tends to make you sweat out. And then when that sweat mixes up with my body's natural chemistry, it starts to give that really foul odor and smell and stuff. Now, mind you, I don't know whether I got the fake or the original. This is just something that I experienced from actually using this cream personally. And I noticed that after using it for a period of like six months, I had very bad knuckles. My ankles and everywhere was just really pigmented and it was just really, really bad. I would not encourage you to use any products with hydroquinone for more than six months or a whole year because hydroquinone can give your skin very terrible um, whitish pale pigmentation stuff on your feet, on your hands, on just uh, your parts of your body. It's not really, really safe in the long run. Okay, that is everything. Like Clear Essence is one product or one range that people always want to get. Also, I checked the website for you guys. Thank me later. I checked the website and it's from a company called Clear Essence Cosmetics in California. In California. Yeah. So they are from, it's from a cosmetics company called Clear Essence Cosmetics in California. They are also known for making skin lightening products, skin brightening products that help your skin to get fairer, fade pigmentation and all the good stuff. However, another thing that is a red flag that these companies keep making a mistake on is that the website does not offer sufficient information. I just see pictures of models plastered here and there, and I'm not seeing something concrete to go about and that would satisfy my curiosity as a consumer that wants to be enlightened before I invest and buy a product with my hard earned money. If you're in my shoes, you would feel like this too. So yes, the company does not provide enough information. Another thing that you need to know is the active ingredients that are in the Clear Essence Cosmetics uh, body lotion now. And that includes hydroquinone in 2%. It has beta hydroxyl, beta hydroxyl acid, ascorbic acid, where some of these are some of the ingredients that I could recognize in the ingredient list. I searched thoroughly. I did not see anything like aloe. I didn't see anything like body butters or oils that should actually keep your skin also moisturized while it does its lightning. But this is the thing. This is where clear essence is better than Carol White. Actually, the website states that it should not be used on dark skin, that it can give serious side effects uh, if you use it without some protection. The Clear Essence Cosmetics, their body lotion, off the bat, I love the fragrance. It's not too strong, it's not too mild, it's just something really, really skin friendly. Now, compared to the Carol White, the Clear Essence actually absorbs easily into the skin. It has a um, low viscosity, so that means that it's not thick, it's not just need to sit on the surface of your skin and just make you sweat out, no. The Clear Essence formula is lightweight, low viscosity, very wonderful texture, great fragrance, and all drum the good stuff for today. The drum roll for the king of the body lotions that are saturated the market and that has been verified to lighten up the skin is Fair and White Body Lotion range. I'm so excited to talk about these guys because I have a lot, a lot to talk about. It's from a company called Fair and White in France and I love their website. It's user-friendly and they have a lot of information that you can divulge and just read up. They also specified what you should be using the product for. So they specified that if you have melasma, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, scars all over your body, then the fair and white body uh, uh, lotion range or their cosmetic range is something that you should look at using. I know they have the pink one and they have the gold one. I saw the pictures on their website with beautiful models and stuff. Very, very beautiful to see. I love their website. I love everything about Fair and White. Now, let's talk about the active ingredients because a brand can be good, but what are you putting in the product for the consumers to actually use? So active ingredients in the Fair and White body lotion is 1.9% hydroquinone and vitamin E. That's about it. So yeah, that's about it. So the key active that is helping your skin to brighten up also is the hydroquinone but this one is in 1.9 percent does it make a difference if there's one if it's one percent lower i don't really know i can't really tell uh it also does not have enough moisturizing products ingredients inside it and that is a total no no as far as i'm concerned but but i will give them a pass mark because compared to the other website and the other products that i saw previously 
honestly, I think Fair White is doing a very good job. In terms of fragrance, viscosity, texture, how it feels on the skin, it's also check, check, check in that area. Fair and White does not make you sweat out. It does not give you that terrible odor and stuff. They did a really good job in terms of the formulation. Another thing that they mentioned on their website that just sweetened my heart and is torturing my body, I honestly love this about their company, is that they recommend that you should be using a sun protection formula of SPF 50. What? I love this company. Compared to Carol White and Claire Essence, where we don't even see, they are not telling us to use SPF. Fair and White actually indicates to a prospective consumer that she should be using SPF sunscreen daily. And I'm very, very happy to see that because that just goes to show that they are taking the extra amount to also educate and preserve the skin of their consumers. The last thing that I'd like to mention under Fair and White is that a lot of people actually gave positive reviews when it comes to Fair and White. Like, my scars are better. My body is better. I enjoyed using this product. It was really, really good for me. A lot of people had wonderful things to say about Fair White. So yes, would I actually use Fair and White after seeing all these things that I've seen about them on their website and from reviews from people? Yes, of course I will. I will because they're also encouraging me to use it and then use sunscreen to also protect my skin. So closing thoughts. So hydroquinone in itself is not, it's not necessarily bad. A lot of dermatologists actually recommend that you can use hydroquinone all over your face, on your body, on certain parts of your skin. They can be prescribed as topical medications from a dermatologist, actually, with a written note of where you should actually get them from. But this is the thing. It's a prescription active. It's not something that your skin needs to be on for a long period of time, okay? And it's not something that you should use without enough moisturizing skincare products and ingredients to cushion it up why because there's something under your skin called the skin acid mantle this is where your moisture barrier is and that barrier has ceramides these ceramides are what needs moisture hydration and that cushions the skin to give it that really comfortable feel that we have in our skin naturally so when you are using a prescription medication like hydroquinone that tends to dry out the skin naturally and you're not falling in with a moisturizing skincare product maybe a soap maybe a body oil maybe something to just also moisturize and blend your skin and and um just give your skin a very beautiful comfort and cushion in addition to that strong active then of course your skin is going to be thrown off the balance you will have severe skin issues like um eczema um, um stretch marks severe knuckles and all the bad stuff brain veins and stuff and those are just your skin telling you that okay this thing is too strong and too harsh for the skin so overall the body lotions are very good of course as usual the percentages that i'll give them are right up in the um video itself let me know in the comment section which of these body lotions have you tried before i want to hear from you guys are you a fair and white girl clear sense girl or you've also used scary white like me yes i've used scary white before i want to know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for 25,000 subscribers guys i'm so grateful and i'll see you guys in the very next one Bye.